don't be victimized twice. That's the consumer alert from state officials tonight after homeowners who lost everything mm. in the North Bay wildfires fell victim to fraud. Really tough. People pounce in these tragedies, unfortunately. Seven on your side, Michael Finney is here live. And uh, Michael, this is really kind of an unusual warning. This is an unusual warning from officials. State, local, and federal agents recently served a search warrant on the office of suspected unlicensed contractor, who authorities say may have victimed half a dozen families whose homes were destroyed. Now, rarely have I seen a warning from authorities before any charges have been filed. Peter Koch is no stranger to controversy. The North Carolina man was convicted last week of insurance fraud in Wilmington. He says he's appealing his conviction. He's also opened a restaurant, but authorities denied his liquor license at the recommendation of police. He's also been involved in controversies over this home. Now, the FBI, the Sonoma County District Attorney's Office, and Contractor State License Board have an issue with him, too. We believe he took $15,000 up front as a down payment that did not do any work. Koch is advertising himself in this flyer as a cleanup removal service. Authorities say he's unlicensed and cannot legally operate in California for cleanup jobs in excess of $500. I talked with Rick Lopes of the Contractor State License Board. I'm here looking at a consumer alert like one I've never seen before. The CSLB has issued a consumer alert like no other, right? Authorities tell me they don't normally publicize a case during an open investigation, but they say this is an exception. In this case, because he's been so blatant about saying that he plans to continue working, we feel that it's important that we try to get the word out to these fire survivors. Koch told us in a voicemail message, he thinks the accusations are a scam. Total bogus. So, like, totally call bogus. There's no complaining customers. There's no unfinished work. Last week, federal, state, and local agents served a search warrant at Koch's office in this Santa Rosa building. Authorities say they've received six complaints, but expect to receive more. They've told him to stop operating in California, but he's told us and them that won't happen and he's done nothing wrong. It's unusual this guy is, is kind of thumbing his nose at the authorities and says, I, I don't care, I'm gonna to try to take advantage of these fire survivors. It's challenging, but uh, it's more comical than anything. Coke has applied for a California state license, but that application has been put on hold by authorities.